We are going to make Cool Whip cookies today. These are the ingredients that you need. One cake box, one tub of whipping cream, one egg, and some confectionery sugar we'll use in just a little bit. You want to open one box of cake mix, dump it right in the bowl. Just like that. You want to get all the cake mix out. Oh, nothing like chocolate cake mix. That's one of my favorites. How about you? Every, lot, every drop counts. There we have it right there. Now we're going to take 8 ounces of Cool Whip. We're going to take it and we're going to put it in the bowl with the chocolate cake just like this get it all out you're going to use one eight ounce container oh cool whip cool whip and chocolate another one of my favorites what is it my favorite right so then we're gonna we're gonna use an egg and we're gonna just set it aside for a second just like this put it in there so there's no surprises when you pour it into the bowl now we're taking the cake mix and the cool whip and we're going to just stir it in we're going to incorporate it in and you're going to get like a medium consistency a little heavier than a cake batter and you just want to get it all in good. You just keep turning very gently, just like this. Mmm, it smells really good in here. That chocolate. Chocolate makes everything better, doesn't it? Just like butter. See, and you want to just get right in there and you want to make sure all that cake mix goes into the Cool Whip, just like this. You just keep stirring it. Now we're gonna dump the one egg in, just like that. And we're gonna mix that in. You wanna mix it in a little bit before you put the egg and then just work the egg into it. It just gives it a little moisture and incorporates it a little better. Just like this. I always like to put my egg in a little separate container when I open it because you never know there could be a hidden surprise and that way you're not ruining your whole batter. There we go. It's coming together nicely right now. It's starting to thicken up as you can see and you just keep stirring it till it gets all incorporated just like this. It's so pretty when it starts all coming together. Let's not forget the smell again. There she goes. Look at this. Like I said, it's a little bit thicker than a cake batter. <clears throat> I want to scrape down the spatula a little bit. I've got two different sizes because one never knows when you're working what size you are going to have to have. Just like this. Our confectionery sugar will be coming into play here in just a moment. And you can use an ice cream scoop or two spoons to get the batter out. I'm just scraping everything down, giving it my little last scrape here. Just like this. There you have it, right there. So now I'm going to take my ice cream scoop, and you could use two spoons if you want. You need a cookie tray, and you need a parchment paper right there to go on top. Then you're going to take the cookie, um, the ice cream scoop, and you're going to Dip it in the confectionery sugar. And then you're going to roll it around. I started first with the ice cream scoop and then finished using my hands because I found out it was a lot quicker and a lot easier 
if I did use my hands, just like this. And you just want to shake off some of the confectionery sugar and put it on your cookie tray. And then you want to just continue over and over until the cookie tray gets filled up. Just like this. And I put um, 12 pieces of dough balls on the cookie tray. And we just keep rolling it. How many have made these cookies before? And if you have, do you like them? They're a very easy cookie to make up. Especially if you've got company, unexpected company coming over or you've got to take a little quick dessert or snack or whatever you want to call it to a neighbor's, to a school party, to a office function, whatever. These are really nice to take. And you just keep doing it. It's just kind of repetitious over and over. And it does give you a, a few balls. I think I got 14 out of this whole batter. There we go, just like that. And you can use an ice cream scoop, again, or spoons, depending on what size balls you want to make. You want to leave maybe about mm, inch, inch and a half between each ball, depending. Everybody makes their balls different sizes. I chose that ice cream scoop because that was my favorite one. But um, you could go a little bigger or you could go a little smaller with the ice cream scoop. Or you could just take a couple of spoons. Whatever is easiest for you and whatever you would like. There we go. You can see I've got plenty of confectionery sugar in there. I think I put about a cup and a half and I still had plenty left over. So maybe you want to start with just a little confectionery sugar and then add as you go so there is no waste at all. And here's the last ball going on the cookie sheet right there. Now, it looks real pretty. It's going in the oven. There we have it, out of the oven. It made 16 cookies. Now you see, I've got the cookie. It's cooled down. I'm gonna try it. Mmm, it's very moist. And when it cools, it starts to get a little soft. But that's okay. It was still very, very good. This would be great for someone that doesn't have any <coughs> teeth. Whoops, I got a little cough and jag right there. I um, inhaled a little bit powder going the wrong way. But it's really good. So please give me thumbs up. If you like this video, you never know what's going to be on my videos. And the recipe will be in the description box below. Have a great day. God bless. See you tomorrow. Bye now.